welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got a lot of spiritual growth that has come in recently for you. You are nurturing yourself. Uh, there's been a lot of insight as well that is coming and you are growing quite a bit. You can see this woman with this uh, watering can over the flowers over there. So there's been a lot of growth for you on a personal level. You might have some unrealistic expectations, so you need to ground yourself and you need to be very, very logical about what is going on. Be very practical about what you want out of a relationship. It looks like there might be new love coming in for you if you're single or there might be a rekindling of love for you if you are in a relationship. In the past, it seems like you've been dealing with a lot of spiteful behavior. You've got that snake over there and, you know, you have been working really hard at the relationship. It might be somebody that is causing, uh, you know, with their um, snake tongue, if you like, causing some kind of uh, problems within your relationship uh, that is, uh, you know, um, setting things um, you know, starting up problems. So they might be stirring up some problems and you've been dealing with that. You might be feeling as well that, you know, you are working too hard on the relationship, that it's one-sided, that you are the one that's doing all the work within that relationship or was, were doing all the work in the relationship. So if you have broken up with a, in, a, in that relationship, it might have been due to spiteful and vindictive behavior and maybe you were the one that was giving all and the other person wasn't. So there is some kind of new love coming in for you over here, but make sure that you are very realistic in what you're looking for in a partner. Now, you might need to seek some kind of counseling or advice to get over situations, um, and uh, you are feeling very, very defensive. You are watching your back, which is a good place to be. Uh, you know, it's not nice to be very, very naive about things. It's nice to take things and be very realistic about it. So make sure that you have some realistic expectations. You know, you have to take into account that everybody has their faults and you have to deal with that so compromise might be necessary you know it, you don't have to go overboard with a compromise but it might be necessary in a situation you do need to get some kind of advice or get things off your chest really it doesn't mean that mean that you need to go see a psychiatrist necessarily but need to speak to somebody who uh, you can talk to who understands uh, what you're going through and this is about being defensive and watching your back so you are a bit wary about starting new relationships as well so those are the energies for that two weeks. <coughs> so I'm just going to do the uh, Romantic Tarot as main read. So bottom of the deck, you've got um, the seven, which is the chariot, really. And this is about uh, you feeling as though um, the other person was very, very much in control. So, you know, you've been taking a back seat in that particular relationship. There are other things on their mind. And, uh, you know, you have been feeling a bit neglected. And maybe they've been focusing a lot on their work or focusing on the daily things, aspects of life, and making you feel as though you were almost redundant, really, with this chariot card. You can see he's doing all the work. He's driving the cattle. It should be a really, really stable relationship. But maybe, you know, you've been feeling a bit neglected uh, within that relationship. Or maybe that is why, uh, you know, you've got this tower moment coming up over here. So you've got the tower card over there. Uh, it seems like that relationship would have been a really good one because, you know, you've got that two of cups over here, but both of you are not communicating very or were not communicating very openly or very honestly with each other. And maybe this is the reason why this relationship has broken down. You've got the two cups spilt over here or the two pails spilt with the water spilt. So it looks like... <coughs> You were keeping secrets from each other. Maybe the other person was very, very dominating with that relationship and taking control. You were taking a back seat in that relationship and feeling as though you had no input in it. And maybe this is the re reason why that relationship has fell uh, fallen apart. And you've got that tower moment over there, which is talking about a breakdown, complete breakdown of those foundations. And this is just based on the fact that you people, um, you know, the two of you have not been very, very open and honest with each other, or you haven't been really expressing yourselves. You're both have been hiding um, you know although you've been in that relationship it seems like there was not much um, you know um, 
you know, we're not coming clean with each other, really. And it seems like this whole uh, relationship has broken down. There's that towel moment. It looks like there's been a lot of, uh, you know, um, disruption. Uh, there's been a lot of drama. Uh, there's been, you know, quite a big loss. So everything seems to have broken down. It seems to have all fallen apart. So in the past, it feels like it seems as though you were feeling very tied up uh, within it, very chained within that relationship. Also feeling as though you're making a lot of sacrifices, and you know it was uh, it was causing a lot of emotional upset, a lot of emotional pain for you, and feeling very very isolated as well uh, with this uh, hangman over there. Things were also not moving. So then you know this is the card of being almost. Um, publicly uh, humiliated, really, in a, in a relationship that doesn't seem to be going anywhere and everything seems to be at a standstill. There's a lot of lock and keys over here, so you were feeling very, very chained with it, that relationship. It looks like, uh, you know, you've got the Knight of Swords over here, which always talks about, uh, it could be the person that you were with, uh, being very, very dominating, uh, domineering, uh, controlling, causing a lot of conflict, causing a lot of uh, mental anguish as well, and saying things that were pretty nasty, trying to control you quite a bit. This could also be that maybe you have, uh, you know, ended this relationship and it's ended in a divorce, because the Knight of uh, Swords is about legal uh, endings to situations, so maybe this is what has been happening. And maybe this is why that tower moment has happened because of the legal situation that is going down here. So there is a definite ending to this relationship. You've got that ten of rods and you felt like you were, it was a very burdensome situation. There were lots of problems. The rods signify a lot of problems. There might have been, uh, you know, um, because it's a rod card it's signifying that there may have been sexual problems within that relationship. It seems like you all have, uh, you know, decided to separate and move on. They're at a railway station, so they are separating. Um, there may have been a third party situation as well involved in it. You have been doing a lot of thinking, but it seems like you'll have decided to, to, to make that separation. This is the end of those problems with that 10 of uh, rods, so the end of that burdensome situation. Now, going into the future, you've got the moon. So the moon is about lies and deception and deceit. So if you're getting to any kind of new relationship, be very, very careful about how you do it. This is not the time to actually pursue something big or something new. On the other hand, the moon is about being feeling a bit depressed, isolated, maybe uh, reminiscing a lot about that past where you thought you had that perfect relationship going on. There's, you know, you might be trying to communicate with this person as well. You've got that tower over there uh, and uh, the Eiffel Tower. So that was a communication device and it seems like maybe you're trying to communicate with this person. Uh, maybe you're getting the brush off as well and maybe that's um, you know upsetting you as well. So things were happening behind your back that you didn't know about. Maybe those things are even coming to light. There's a lot of confusion. Things are not quite clear, and you're really about not knowing what to do next, really. That's where you are at. You are feeling a bit depressed and down. Maybe you're not even sleeping well at night. Now, you've got the seven of rods over here. This is about defending yourself, but it looks like you're leaving that old relationship back in this particular deck, and you're going to be pursuing something else. This man's got a bag full of these rods, so whatever this new relationship, it's a very sexual relationship. You might be even traveling, and you might meet this person on one of your travels or your journeys, but there's new a new relationship being offered uh, to you. So you're walking away from the old, and you're going to be pursuing something new, and it might start off as a very sexual relationship. Um, You've got the Hierophant over here, so there might be some kind of commitment that you are seeking. Maybe that's what you're looking for, or maybe this is the breakdown of that commitment, uh, you know, getting rid of that old commitment that you had. So this could have been a marriage, uh, if, especially if there's that uh, Knight of um, Rods over here. So this could... Um, this could have been a marriage, and this is the breakdown of that uh, commitment that you made to that, to that particular person. This is also trying to get some proper advice, so make sure that you are getting some legal counseling or you're getting some, uh, you know, um, emotional counseling. Um, this could even, you know, be get, getting it from uh, a spiritual leader or even, a, you know, somebody who is... Um, professionally trained, medically trained to give you that counseling. You're definitely changing the way uh, you're looking at things or changing your attitudes as well. Looking at commitment with new eyes or looking at marriage uh, with new eyes or seeing things. So something is changing in your value system as well. So what you want, your hopes and fears, you know, you want to get that out there, you want a new offer to come in, you want that cup of love to come in and you want to go out there and socialize quite a bit and meet people. So going into the future, you've got the Ace of um, Pentacles, you've got the Strength card over here, and you've got the Two of Rods. Now the Ace of Pentacles speaks about a new relationship. It might be somebody that you are um, 
working with. So this is somebody that you know you've met on the job front, or somebody that you're working with. Uh, and uh, you are quite interested in it, and maybe an offer comes in with that. So there's that prospect of that. So uh, there's a possibility of meeting it. The offer, usually with the Ace of um, Pentacles, it's the beginning of a relationship, so there might be an offer that comes in, um, but uh, this is also just the possibility of that. So if there's somebody that's there, maybe they will ask you out, or maybe you are, are very, very interested in them. There's definitely somebody around. Now, you've got the strength card over there, and this card is about putting an effort into a situation that may not pay off. So even though there's this prospect of this new relationship over there, it may not take off because you've got that strength card over there, and this is about trying to, uh, you know, putting a lot of effort into getting this relationship going, but it's not really going to be making any, you're not going to be able to um, make any inroads uh, if I could put it that way. So uh, you might be putting effort into that relationship and uh, they may the person that you are interested in may not be reciprocating your uh, interest. So that's uh, what this particular strength card is showing that, uh, you know, this might be a wasted effort, this particular relationship. Um, you might have a sexual relationship with this person, but for a long-term relationship, it might not work out for you. So be aware of this. If you've got the eight of rods over here, uh, you can see this person's feeling very restricted and this person's doing their own thing there in the background over there. She's got whatever she's doing there and he's not really interested. So although there might be somebody there that you start a relationship with, with it might be a purely physical relationship and might not progress to where you would like it to go so it might not end up as an emotional relationship simply because both of you have different interests and maybe uh, this person is just interested in something that is just short term rather than long term uh, because you know you can see this person's feeling really tied up over here so they might be just interested in something short term something very physical and you might be interested in something you know long term uh, emotional spiritual and they are not really interested in so be aware of that that this new relationship that you could be starting out might be a wasted effort um, because you'll have two different uh, goals in life uh, so you want something long-term, spiritual, deep, and maybe they don't. They want something that is very short-term, physical, and maybe if, if they feel very restricted being in a long-term relationship. So just be aware that it could be that coming up for you. So you are getting through a difficult uh, emotional relationship right now. Uh, you know, you're very, very confused and very, very worried about this going. Don't make long-term plans, like I said, with the moon, because there could be something that is being hidden. Maybe this person that you want to start this new relationship with is hiding something. So be aware that they might have a different life or something else going on behind the scenes that you are not aware of. It seems like you do want commitment with that Hierophant card. Maybe they are not ready to give you that commitment, and it might just be something very physical that you get involved in. So you're getting through a separation right now, and there looks like there's some uh, somebody's presenting uh, a very physical relationship to you at the moment. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. So you've got the Nine of Ariel over here. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to success, a, life, a love for beautiful things in life. Now you've got the rainbow over here and her moving forward. So you can see that, uh, you know, this difficult cycle is now come to an end. This is the nine of pentacles. You are very, very uh, independent. You are moving forward and you have come through, uh, you know, the worst of it is over. You've come through a lot of problems and a lot of obstacles. There's a lot of mountains over there, but you're getting there. You're getting there slowly, but you're getting there and you are moving towards the future there. And there's been a big transformation over there. You can see with the butterfly on that flag. Now, then you've got the nine of Raphael, which says, make a wish, dreams become a reality, a joyful time in life. So you are getting th fulfillment, satisfaction. Maybe the person that you're going to be involved in is very faithful. They make good friends. Um, and you are getting wishes being fulfilled. So you are getting some emotional peace and happiness coming in for you. Then you've got the Ace of Raphael, which is the Ace of Cups, a positive new experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, a deep, lasting spiritual insight. So it looks like there is going to be a new relationship that is going to come and offer for you with this Ace of Cups being offered uh, for you. It might end up being somebody that you work with, with that Ace of Pentacles, uh, but it might also end up being something that, uh, you know, is going to be more physical rather than a long-term emotional uh, relationship. But it might just be a relationship that just gets you through or gets you over this past uh, relationship that you've been through, which just seems to have been quite uh, a dramatic kind of uh, situation that you've ended, uh, maybe a very controlling relationship, and maybe it's just a light 
you know, a, a casual relationship that allows you to recover from whatever you've been through at the moment. But there's definitely a new relationship on offer over here for you. And it's going to take you to a different, you know, emotional, spiritual level as well. You are moving on and you are working quite independently with that nine of... Um, Pen, uh, nine of Ariel over here, so you are moving to the future, and the past, you know, all those obstacles are behind the rainbow, so everything is, you know, all those problems that you were facing are now over, and you will be able to move forward. It looks like, you know, you'll reach uh, more, uh, you know, uh, with that Ace of Cups, it's having uh, a, a greater understanding and having a better spiritual insight as to what is going on for you. So I hope that this uh, reading has resonated. Please don't uh, forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.